Hello everybody, I hope you're safe and well at home and looking after each other during this current situation we're all in. I've been asked by a number of my clients if there was any way I could give you guys a couple of hints and tips for taking some photos of your brand new babies at home. I know it's super disappointing for you to not be able to come in for your newborn session while your babies are still so tiny, but I promise as soon as it's safe to do so, we'll reopen the studio and take some beautiful portraits at whatever stage and age your baby is at when it's safe. Now, uh, for lots of reasons, um, I don't want you to attempt to do a full newborn shoot in your own home, for mainly for safety reasons. I've got years and years of experience at taking, posing and looking after your baby to make sure they're safe and happy during your session. Now, for that reason, I don't want you to attempt to photograph your baby in any props or baskets or anything you may have at home. I don't want baby to be able to fall, to um, bang themselves or to do anything that would cause your baby any discomfort or pain. So safety first, we're going to go with quite a simple pose for you so that it's the easiest one for you to be able to just capture a couple of little snaps to be able to show your family and friends your beautiful new addition to the family. Now I'm using um, a bedroom just to show you, so this is my bedroom at home. Now I suggest you either use a bedroom or a living room where you have either a bed or a sofa so you've got a soft surface that you can put baby on. The other thing to think about is light, so don't worry about using flash or any professional lighting. Um, so if you are using a camera, so turn your flash off and same with your phone. If you're using your phone then um, don't have flash on, you don't need it for these pictures. Now because we're going to use natural light, you're going to want to find somewhere in the room that's near your window and you're going to want to position so that the window is either on one side or on the other side of baby. So you don't want the light to be coming up baby's nose from the bottom or coming down from the top that would create any unflattering lighting on baby's face. Now what we suggest is if you have got pets or if you've got um, any other children or toddlers in the house, when you decide that this is um, something you're going to want to do, close the door and just take a few moments so that you're doing it on your own, so that for safety reasons nothing's going to jump on the bed with baby, um, so you haven't got an excited dog that's going to come and join you and want to join in on your session, and you haven't got a toddler, big brother or sister that's going to desperately want to join in and do anything that might um, injure baby while they're positioned on the bed. Now what we also suggest is if the best time to photograph baby would be um, in the morning. That's purely because your light will be best, um, it will be coming in from the side and often baby will be more settled in the morning than they would be later on. The closer you get to dinner time later on in the day means that your baby will get a little bit more unsettled um, and you'll find that you get more sleepy content babies in the morning. So what you'll need for your photo shoot at home is a towel. It doesn't matter what colour your towel is, it's not going to be on the photo, so it doesn't matter. We're going to use a few different blankets. So I've just got a couple with grey and cream that I've just got at home, so obviously I'm not using anything that I normally have at the studio, so I've just grabbed a few things, but that'll make it a little bit more authentic for you guys at home doing it as well. Now, try and think about colours, um, so try and avoid anything very bright that you're going to photograph baby that will distract people from looking at your gorgeous baby. So I've chosen neutrals with creams and greys. And I'm also going to swaddle baby and have baby in a wrap. So I've just got a little bit of stretchy, stretchy fabric that I've got here. But if you've got any swaddles or if you've got any cloths that would be perfect for wrapping around baby, you can use those. Alternatively, you can also um, have baby in your favourite outfit, so if anyone's bought you something you'd like to photograph baby in, you can do that as well. One thing I wouldn't suggest though is having baby um, with nappy off just purely because I don't want you all messaging me saying that you've had any accidents on your bed or your sofa at home. So I would suggest, and baby will be a little bit happier if you keep nappy on during this photo shoot. Okay, so what we're gonna do is use the towel to create a bit of a nest for baby. You're gonna have baby's head at this end so that you've got nice support under their neck and shoulders, and you're gonna have a little nest so that baby's feet be nicely tucked up and create a lovely nest there. Now bear in mind that my baby's not going to be as lovely and bendy and curly as your baby because mine's made of plastic and hopefully yours isn't. And then you're going to lay one of your blankets that you choose over the top just to create this lovely little nest the baby's going to nestle into and be cosy. 
So I've swaddled baby in the meantime. Now if swaddling or wrapping baby is something you'd like to do on your photos, I can send you a link to some good videos with advice and tips on how to do a nice safe swaddle for you. Now otherwise you can have baby in an outfit or um, just in their nappy at this stage. Now what I suggest before you start is baby will want to feed because a happy sleepy baby is going to be the easiest baby to work with. And what we suggest is to take baby down to the nappy first, wrap them up in a blanket that you've got, keep them nice and cosy and then let them have a feed so that when they settle and go to sleep you're not going to upset them then by undressing them once they're happy. So my baby's all swaddled and happy and content here. Ignore the fact that he's awake because obviously he would be asleep if we were doing this properly. So he was going to be popped into the little nest we've created here. I'm bringing him down so that his head and neck is on the towel that we've popped underneath the blanket just to support him. The nest comes all the way round so that he's nice and cocooned and safe and cosy all on the blanket here on the bed. Okay, so baby's in position. We're going to start off with a full length so you're getting head to toe. Leave a little bit of room top and bottom so you're not cropping in too close. You can then slightly alter your angles a little bit, so come from side to side. And you can come in and do a close up of baby's face. You can also do a little side profile of baby's face. Okay, so any other blankets that you've got or that you wanted to use, these are good if you didn't swaddle baby or you just have baby in the nappy because we're going to use this blanket to cover nappy. So what we're going to do is just tuck baby in as if baby's in a bed. So you're going to bring the blanket across and then you can either bring arms out or if your baby is asleep with arms up, just work however your baby is comfortable in their comfortable sleeping position. So baby is all tucked up happy there and you get your shot from above. Now this is where you can also tuck in a little teddy bear so that baby's cuddling a teddy bear or you can add any little hats that you've got if you'd like to have one with a little hat. So that has helped you take between four and five classic portraits of your new addition to the family. Now I promise we will do a beautiful full newborn session for you as soon as it's safe to do so at the studio. But in the meantime you now have something that you can show family and friends so they can see your new addition while they're still not able to meet them. If you've got any questions on anything we've covered in the video today or anything else you'd like to ask me advice on, you're more than welcome to message me. I can't wait to meet your new additions. So take care and I'll look forward to seeing you all soon.